Tonight, we're hearing new reaction to the manifesto left behind by a 21-year-old gunman who killed three black people in a racially motivated attack that happened at a Dollar General last year. Jacksonville Sheriff T.K. Waters says the document was released in an effort to be fully transparent with the public. News for Jacks reporter Alicia Hatcher sat down with a doctor in psychology and a retired JSO director about the potential impacts the release of this manifesto could have on the community. A 27-page manifesto was released by authorities detailing the hate for minorities from the gunman who killed three African Americans in a racially motivated attack last year. Angela Carr, A.J. Laguerre Jr., and Gerald Gallian were killed in August when the gunman, who we are not identifying, went to a Dollar General in a largely black neighborhood and killed them. The manifesto includes hateful words, and the shooter discusses historical events to go with his theory. We spoke to retired JSO director Tom Hackney about the manifesto being released. Is it common for police departments to release manifestos? You know, honestly, you try not to because you don't want to give these people their stage or a platform for this because you don't want other people who may follow them to read that and, and want to either continue their work or somehow glorify what they've said or done. Could you give me your thoughts from a law enforcement perspective on reading this? It's just so filled with hate. It's it's mind boggling. It's just mind boggling that that somebody who walks to our streets and, and was around us every day feels that way enough to write dozens of pages. Doctor in psychology Richard Marks has a similar thought. From a mental health, it was interesting. When you read it, if you're looking for like a psychotic disorder, somebody who's hallucinating, hearing voices, uh, it's not there. Something happened in his life somewhere along the way where he turned hate into an ideology. Sheriff T.K. Waters released a statement saying, by releasing this manifesto, we remain consistent with our commitment to transparency. Members of the public deserve to determine firsthand that this manifesto is filled with the rantings of an isolated, hateful madman whose disgusting ideology is wholly inconsistent with the belief structure of the Jacksonville community. As our city heals from this tragedy, let us continue to stand united. On newsforjacks.com, we have the full statement from the sheriff, and we've done individual stories on each victim impacted in this shooting and their families. You can find that on our website at newsforjacks.com. Alicia Hatcher, Channel 4, The Local Station.